And let's see what Bell wants. That doesn't count. Oh, okay, it did count. Why does the camera seem far away? Right from Valentine and Rhodes in less than five minutes. What? What's up with y'all? A short Been walk and a pretty you, time. Huh? Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job. Needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? What is this dude anyway? looking at? Yeah, let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. What's up? What's up? What are they born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah. They Man, this so vibe nice. off, bro. Listen, I know these great boys have been now. This is on the level. Between the music and like stuck in the middle of some ancient feud. Don't Instead step playing both sides of being used by both of them. They were saying he gonna step Catherine right in it like though. They hold up. This don't feel right. It don't feel right. I could have told you. Oh. Oh. Bruh. Bruh. What in the world? Look at him, of course he's dead. How could you know this was a trap? You sure you want to talk about this now, Morgan? Bro, how y'all gonna kill Sean like that? I mean, I know. I know, like, I didn't trust him, but Jesus. He did not need to go out like that. Bro, move! Gray's got a dime, bro. All of them. So much for loot. What damn loot? We ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. We all get shot. 
Good blast it. You call it getting the job done. You feel anywhere? no. Blast it. And peace to Sean, bro. You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two big thugs from God knows where. You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We took down far worse than you a hundred times over. This is the Gray's town. Come on, bro. You gotta die too, because you part of this. On the ground. Do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Sheriff. I'll blow his brains out. You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan. Was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. Shut up, Micah. I'm trying to find a lead. Same as you. Same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, take the boy's body. Very improper someplace. Quiet. Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. Man. Sean did not have to go out like that, bro. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a god. Damn mess we are making of things. Whew, man. What in the world? Yep. Let's go. Yeah, we need to get to Dutch, bro, because that was his idea. His and uh, Micah's idea. to play both sides and rob both sides. So stupid. Asking me, Do I don't know. The Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. Like Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite boys. Where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. John and is not even like, just get me back, my son. 
I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now! Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him! Rest of you, let's ride! Why did it get to dark so fast? Okay, let's go get that boy back! John not even, like, <laughs> saying anything. He not like, I'm going to kill him, I'm going to yeah, kill him. We just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know, I heard about John too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. We need to go. We need to leave this area. Okay, there we go. Stick up for your child, man. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think huh? there is any gold. My bad, Lenny. Move. It's hidden somewhere no one knows. Everybody what? pushing into I each other. Every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that... Another perfect scam. Right. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Man, what is going on on this day, bro? Sean got killed. Jack. Uh, okay, got right. taken out. Makes a move Not taken out, so. but kidnapped. We don't even know if it's really the Braithwaite's. It could be the Greys again, but knowing how things turned out, it's probably the Braithwaite's. I'm not too worried about Jack, only because he's in the first game, so... Oh, I thought we were dismounting. First song, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Exactly. Quiet. We're going to fix this right This is Dutch's plan and Micah's plan. Arthur. Arthur, we can't do this. Bro, I'm coming over. Relax. Come on. Let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. Can I get my gun out? Oh, I, I got one. Never mind. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I want to kill the son because he was getting on my bitches. nerves. John, I need you to oh, they got the they got the singer going. Okay, that's how you know it's serious. All types of gang Get shit right now. now. You inbred trash. All types of gang shit. What's up? He's What's up? Him. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged. Or otherwise, <clears throat> that is a young boy. Right. That is not the way you do things. Right. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. All right. Start shooting. And kill her too. Man, we don't care about numbers, bro. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this. What's up? 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 Up. 
Yeah, where are you going? Let me get my, let me get my. Let's go, let's go. What's up? Jack? Oh, shit. Boy, what you thought? Look at that. Look at his eyes. He pissed. Hold up. Move, John. I'll open it. Hold on. Shit. John. What's up? What's up? Arthur, get out there. We got this door covered. What? Man, where my gun at? Hold up. What's up? What's up? How is he not dead yet? Shoot! Blaster, the blaster, the blaster. How is he not dead? Why do I have my shotgun? What's up? I did not need anything for my stamina. I was trying to get something for my dead eye. Get pop. Kill her. You want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for a hundred and twenty years. We never had no problem. Burn that house down. Where is the boy? 
Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of uh, here. Uh, what about them? Uh, Fuck them. Uh, Since they want to play. Any more of our sons to deal with? No, reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the crap. Right. I'm saying. You ain't saying where he at, so... Enjoy the view. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole my... Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. John gonna you. kill her. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. Who? So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Oh, they're gonna kill her. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. So it's the main sons that that uh got her, got him. Okay, sis, hit that high note. Okay, sis. She talking about, you yeah, stole my you liquor. Gonna so you going to steal a child? Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She, she'll kill us all. I know, but... Looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They told what? Him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No. Yeah. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now we get that boy back <clears throat> and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. Oh, my the lord. Solution. Here we go. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. How they find us, bro? Who are you? Rip Van Winkle. <laughs> ah, good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. Civilized. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity. All right, Basic kill him. decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place... Ain't no such thing as civilized. Talking about it's savages, man. kill him. So in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. 
But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. What? You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love? <laughs> Ain't that fine? <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. What? Hey, friends, I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. Everybody's we have strapped, bro. Something, something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. Kill him. What now? We get out of here. Right there. Like y'all got him. Ain't nobody gonna know. I know a big old house hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing. Get packing. On, this is crazy. <laughs> You're telling me. Follow me. I know the way. Shady Bell. Come on, John. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. I agree. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We make too much noise once again. We drew it right to us. That's fair. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? A lot. Too many. It's Dutch playing his game. Jose too. Involved with those two families? Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Yeah. Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean. Mac, Jack, Davey, Jenny. Davey, Jenny? And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. <laughs> right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. Now you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. Yeah. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? Should be. I ain't sure nothing. All right, let's leave the horses here and take a look. John, the the seeds are being planted in John's character for the first game, so. Oh, oh I ain't even see them. Hold up, I can't even see. What's up? Get ready! Damn it! Still some here.
Lemoyne strike. Get the shoddy out, bro. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm coming for you. You hear me? You got nowhere to run. Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you. Come and find me there. I knew you'd come soon enough. You are some other coward like you. Bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpetbaggers, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. <sighs> I survived them all. Our fight will live on. You're the one hot, I make. Okay. <laughs> you saved me some bullets. <laughs> Boy, who are you shooting at? Get blasted. Why, hello, sir. You thought that was going to work. We're clear. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Come help me with this, will you? I mean, technically, that old dude won the last one. He was the, like, third to last one. Oh, he downstairs. I'm, I'm an idiot. Help you with what? Who was that? Moving these bodies. So Why? The walking into this? Are you gonna help me carry these in? John, bro, shut up. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Give some food to the to the gators. Them gators. There you go. Eat up. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan. Guide them in. Wait, what did I do here? Oh, I think John got him. What did this idiot have on him? been an action pack like however long I've been recording this that wasn't even the last dude there's still one more body in there Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Would you kindly? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? 
Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Damn. <laughs> Set her down real quick. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. She probably want to get out. Okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. Hold on real quick. Have I been through there? Nope. I guess this day ain't over yet. No, it sure ain't. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places. Maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Mm -hmm. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. Fairly. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. Ocean? The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the west for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. Clearly. In case we have more pressing matters to attend to first. I suppose so, man. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Oh, this is a city for real. Big cities. They're always repellent. Yeah. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter 4, St. Denise. It's a real life city, man. Trophy! Got the factories and everything. Disgusting, revolting, vulgar, and depressing thing in all creation. Mingling. Co-mingling. Nature. Bruh. Nature likes purity. Nature does not I'm not listening to this. Shut up. It's too crowded here. I love the sound of the horse galloping on this uh, stone, though. Yeah. 
Hmm, maybe I can do a bounty. There was a, so a soldier, a stranger somewhere around here. Oh, she down there. She, I don't know. Where's the chick that was saying, let me vote? Excuse you, you in my way. This land of equality is a sham and a disgrace. Can I say anything? You, my friend, what do you think about women's suffrage? Women voting? Sure, why not? Sure. Oh, thank you, sir. You are a true progressive. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. Oh, a cynic. How dull for you. <laughs> I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Young man, I ain't that young. Do you see my beard? Yeah, it's too many fancy people in this city, bro. Too many bougie people here. Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? What? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Don't make me kill you, bro. Less than a minute. I promise. Uh, we're bro. trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall. A shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of twenty dollars would put us well on our way. Fine, whatever. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. <gasps> That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation. Will be <laughs> Loot the box. <laughs> the lock box. When the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, you have a great day too, lady. You literally just talked to me, lady. You are not about to get forty dollars out of me. New clothes? Hmm. Let me see what they got. Look out! Oh my god! Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Where's Dora? Where the door at? <laughs> Can I look at the? Let me have a look. <sighs> nah. Actually, that's not so, too bad. What do you think? Wearing it out? No. 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 Can I rotate or like? Ah. I only stock the best in my shop. Buy from mm. me, and you'll never be disappointed. I mean, that was kind of disappointing, but whatever you say. No. People around here come in just for those. These hats suck, dude. Mm. Nope. 
shirts, pants. Uh, I'll keep what I got on. All right then, but if there was anything in there that caught your eye, it'll be right here with you. Whatever you say, dude. Thanks, Mister. Out of the damn way. <laughs> My bad, dude. Huh? What? Sir, 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 sir. something instead of just begging oh my god already bro already because i ran into you you have a problem cuidado i forget what that means This must be the poor part or the of Saint Denis. The other part was fancy. This part ain't. Market. Why is this one closed? What's this right here? A trapper finally? Well I know where to go when I get a legendary pelt. Pelt or something. All right, let's go in here, dude. Let's see what's here. Excuse me, I'm trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, don't think so. Sorry. Okay. He lying. He lying. Everybody lying. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy name like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Thank you. At least it's black people in this area. Yeah. Out of the damn way. Good evening, partner. Is the saloon? I think the saloon's closed. Stick him up, cowboy. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I was about to say. You're funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So. Here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's Gamora? So I thought Gamora was dead. <laughs> I've been asking around about Mr. <laughs> what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here. Keep and, uh, it cool. What the fuck y'all looking at? Can I help you? Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. I told him, I say, that's the state of Le Moine for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> that's why we love it. Hey, can I get a drink here? <laughs> well, I'll get you in a second. I'll get you in a second. <laughs> 
that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. What's up with these women though? What's up? <laughs> Melee. You got that Can you give me a drink, please, sir? How can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Whiskey. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? A dollar. Real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. Why, well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Dante? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and leave your parents it. was in here before. What are you talking about? I was never here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte, Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss, big. And he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. The alley, they me do 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 Oh, hey, friend, you be careful now. Immigrants. They're not to be trusted. Okay. How's it instantly daytime? Morning, sir. Morning. Hey, folks. Morning. 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 It's morning time. Hmm. These streets too narrow. Can I? Can I go through here, bro? What's up? What's up? No, no, no. Go to the mission. Can I climb this or like? Oh, okay. Duh, I can go through it. Let's see. Become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Huh? Yes. And then after 24 men. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Italian. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? Man, right, what? I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Five dollars. Right here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming clean? Let's go, mister. You coming clean? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Shut Come up, on. kid. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Oh, I can get oh, Jack's he's book. A real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. Do it look like I've been to Toulouse, kid? Mama said they used to my, my, my mom said. But, uh, Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, that, you little bit of shit. Let's go. That fellow looks angry. Get back here. I can't call my horse? Can you, is it, is it wrong if I kill kids in this game, bro? Cause I don't, I can't like, he got my stuff.
I can't calm my horse. Beat his ass. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went Why, right yes, he back. did. Or, yes, we did. Thanks a lot, mister. Thanks a lot, mister. I would not even be mad if y'all ran his ass over. Man, if you don't... They playing this child music and shit. You better stop right now. I'll spend it on something nice, mister, I promise. Mister? Why he running so slow? My stamina not even that low. I'm telling you, a cucumber's definitely a fruit. Fellas, you seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh yeah, he ran right through us. Ran around the corner there. Man, black. <laughs> Why they got the, them black people talking like that? Arthur, 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 bro. You messed up my outfit or my coat, whatever. What's the problem, friend? Excuse me. Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is. And he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. The kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on. Let me do it. You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. <sighs> mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and Why I gotta be a Yankee? Visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yo, fool. Now, get out of here. Who you talk? Okay. Y'all playing the wrong game, bro. Y'all gonna end up dead. Guess what? I ain't gonna care neither. So you mean to tell me my okay? Here, bro. Get yourself some real food, huh? Listen, you have to take this. I don't That's really real want it. I lost my money playing poker. I lost my money playing poker. Actually, let's go to the gunsmith real quick, see what he got. Um, man, I need to eat something. 